Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's the 2023 BMW XM in Cape York Green Metallic with Blue Lagoon uh, Merino Leather Interior. All right, so this is the 2023 BMW XM in Cape York Green Metallic. And this one does have the night gold accents on it. So you can see that around the kidney grill and on that body line that's going all the way around underneath the windows and up and all the way around. And we got the lights on. My camera is not picking up the back ones that great, but that's okay. And we're gonna go all the way around the vehicle before we take a look at all the details. So let's do it. Okay, so this is the XM in Cape York Green Metallic. We first saw this color on the 2023 X1. Uh, so it's cool that it's actually migrated over to the XM. And uh, versus the black one that I featured already on my channel, uh, this one definitely pops way brighter. It's not nearly as stealth as the other one, uh, but still really, really cool. So first and foremost, we've got that beautifully sculpted hood leading right down to the rondelle and to the big focal point of those massive kidney grills with the horizontal slats, beautiful gold emblazoned XM badging there. We've got the new style headlights, very thin on the top there, and then low beams just down here at the bottom, so that's pretty awesome. All kinds of functional air ducts, spot there for your front tow hook, sensors. We've got radar down here at the bottom. Overall, the front end, I think, uh, looks very, very aggressive, and I think you'd definitely agree with me on that one. Now, if we come all the way around and look from the side, so we have black, around the wheel arches and these are the brand new 23 inch uh, 923 m wheels and they are in a uh, bi-color there and we do have that massive red m sport brake now it's m sport and not m compound uh, simply due to the brake regen and we've also replaced the center caps which kind of look like that with this massive rondelle it can rotate but it's not a floating one uh, at all. But uh, first time we've had a 23 inch wheel. Now we've got that beautiful XM there. I actually love how that logo looks. And we've got black M wing mirrors and up top body color. So we've got that beautiful line going all the way around. <clears throat> same profile as you'd see on the M1 and the back of the M1 was actually <clears throat> tall just so that it could fit that inline uh, inline setup there but anyway let's talk more about the XM not the M1 we've got that black prismic uh, pattern on the door handle there same thing on the rear very wide and sculpted rear arch there We've got the fuel cap door on this side that needs a, to be released from the inside of the driver door. There's the rear 23 inch wheel. We've got the three uh, diagonally located uh, or diagonally positioned uh, lights like the three ones that are beside the M badge, kind of like these three here. And up there we've got new style antenna laser etched BMW rondelles in the rear windshield so no actual BMW rondelle on the back of the vehicle uh, we've got highly stylized tail lights very aggressive large vertical rear reflectors <clears throat> night gold trim around the rear diffuser here and the hexagonal vertically stacked quad exhaust tips which is on every M car uh, they've just done a little bit of a remix on these ones back here so now what I'll do is I'll press the micro switch that's just underneath here and we'll get that to open up I think it was raining the other day <laughs> so we've got a double decker
cargo cover in here. We have this beautiful bag, which I wish I just had this bag by itself. XM on it with a M strap, strapping into the vehicle with this carabiner here. And inside is what, where we'll find our le uh, level one, level two occasional use charger. We have 12 volt plug. If I pull this, access to fuse box. Other side, if I pull this one, we've got wheel lock keys, tow hook, tire inflator kit. And I think in other markets, not Canada, you'd get also a first aid kit based on that little symbol there. And you've got these things here to help things from not sliding out of here so easily. And then you've got one, two, three, four tie down areas in the back. And we also have that prismic sculpted design on the inside of this as well, which ma uh, mimics the roof liner over there. And we have the button to close, another one to close and lock, which is really good. So let me just press that. And then let's move on. Okay, so if we come around to the rear passenger door, I'm just gonna pull the door handle in the back here to open up and reveal that we've got the wraparound Blue Lagoon merino leather seats with the aged kind of uh, warm patina brown merino leather. We've got aluminum M door sills that are also illuminated on this part where it says M. And just take a look at those beautiful Blue Lagoon seats, M seat belts here. We've got the XM pillows back here, armrest in the center, pass through through the center with this here. Let me just put that up for a second. I really, really love the design of the seats in the XM. And it is that M lounge wraparound leather that we've got here. And let me just put that back down again, because that's really how it's gonna stay. Um, up top, we have the Prismic sculpted roof liner. And uh, we've got the ambient light going on there. And because this one actually has Bowers and Wilkins, the other one that we showed, uh, the black one had uh, Harman Kardon, so there are more speakers all the way around. Uh, one on each corner for each person's head, as many, as well as many other shy tech ones. And on the back of the center console, we've got rear climate controls with heated seats for the two outer positions, little spot at the bottom. And we've also got a 12 volt plug, two USB Type-C charging ports, vents underneath the front seats, pockets on the back of each uh, door, and the little slot here for, uh, we've got the BMW accessory port, and we've got the USB Type-C. Lots of space back here, really lovely place to be. Lots of space in the door pockets as well. I'm like, you could, I think you could fit a wine bottle or a champagne bottle and something like that in there. And also the speaker, speaker vents, Look really good with the Bowers and Wilkins. Let's go open up the front door next. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the front door. So the front doors do have the uh, comfort access touch. Look at that distressed, aged brown leather. That looks really, really cool. You've got memory buttons, massage chairs for the passenger seats. Bowers and Wilkins. We've got full power seat with lumbar and side bolster support. Illuminated M aluminum door sill. We've got the vent, the M vent for the passenger. A uh, little ambient light coming in through here. Glove box. And if we look over here, now this may alleviate you from saying, oh, I don't like that kickstand thing there. Because it's pretty well integrated right into the dash. For iDrive 8, we have the matte carbon fiber trim, more ambient lighting going on down here. Open that up. So we have a communication pad there with wireless charger, heated and cooled cup holders, beautiful M shifter, and we've got, if I press this, open that up. So we've got uh, USB type C in there and the split. Why don't we go open the doors on the other side, but look at this, beautiful. Love the detail inside of here. Let's go to the driver's side. All right, so from the driver's side, just want to point out that the charge port door is on the driver's side front fender and it is connected to the central locking system. You just press on the three o'clock position to open the door, but I want to enter the vehicle. So once I open the door there, beautiful Bowers and Wilkins up here, 
galvanic controls, power tailgate, memory, massage chair, a button to control the passenger front seat with the driver's seat front controls, tons of space in the door pocket there, fuel cap release door which depressurizes the fuel cap door before you open it, full power seat, let's get a closer look at these beautiful seats in here, I love how they look, this color actually looks so good. And on the inside here, we have head-up display, iDrive 8. There's your uh, steering wheel with the black chrome M down here, M stitching, cruise control, radio controls, M1, M2 config, carbon fiber <coughs> paddle shifters here as well. And uh, we've also got your board computer, automatic high beams, and power adjustment for your steering column, auto lights, so let me just get in here for a moment and I'm just going to shut the door so I've actually got it in the M mode view right now so that's what it looks like and I'm just going to switch it over to the road view so you can just see that cool animation going between the two and also if you look at the head up display I'll do the same thing once again so you'll see the head up display also change appearance so it shows attack uh, your speed and uh, I'm sure there'll be some shift lights in there if we actually get it going. So that all is really cool. And also, I love that when you start it up, you see the M lights going across the roof liner here, which is uh, something that is definitely new to BMW and new uh, in cars in general to not have a sunroof and replace it with a like lounge ceiling. Up here, look at all this brown Alcantara. That looks really cool. Open that up. Yep, that's me. We've got the rear view mirror with the universal garage door underneath. And up top, we've got some reading lights. But overall, that prismic roof is just really, really different and really cool. Uh, adds some real luxury to, uh, to this vehicle. And now what I'd like to do is let's take a look under the hood. All right, so I've pulled it twice, so I'm just going to lift it up now, and there it is, the beautiful S68 with hybrid 4.4 liter V8 twin turbo. This produces 644 horsepower, 590 foot-pounds of torque, and we'll just have to wait for that label red uh, to see the upgraded, uh, more powerful version of this vehicle. Uh, we have positive battery terminal under that red cap negative battery terminal here, positive battery terminal there, but what a beast, and uh, I'm pretty confident that this is going to be the new M5 power plant, so let's wait to see when that happens. Alright, so I've had this car warming up the entire video, and it is outside, so let's get a chance to hear what it sounds like. As the Pinnacle flagship M car, that sounded pretty amazing. I loved it. What do you what did you guys think of that sound? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, so before I conclude the video, just wanted to walk around all the way one more time. I do have the low beams and the illuminated kidney grill on, but it's a little bit hard to see in bright conditions. But I mean this XM is definitely something that's gonna catch your attention as it drives by and likely people will continue to be staring at you until you're no longer in sight but uh, that's kind of the whole point of this vehicle is to be very very gravitating and it definitely does that this car looks really 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 cool I'm glad that we had one like this so I could show you the difference versus that black one all right, everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2023 BMW XM in Cape York Green Metallic with the Blue Lagoon and uh, brown uh, distressed leather inside. You guys let me know what you think of this color combination and what you think of the car overall. Uh, if you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.